Okay, I'm making this quick video just to show you what we've been working on. Um, Facebook came out with this AI Music Gen, and it was limited to 30 seconds, so I modified it so it's unlimited. You can do as much as much time as you like. Uh, I kind of have some um, examples here. This one's at 135 out of 230. Created already. So let's listen to some music here. notice right now every 30 seconds it gets another sample of the song and starts from there I also modified it so you can put a background on it that makes it easier to share on Facebook This one's buzzy. changes along with the original song over time. But there's some hard transitions here and there. Okay, I saw, so I paused it, but you can see there's, a, there's still some hard transitions here and there. However, however, you can just generate it again, and a lot of times those transitions will be minor. That last song was like two and a half minutes, so that's five transitions that it did. If you go over, oh, I'm looking at the wrong page. Oh no, this is this is my GitHub page and I'll leave a link to this down below. Let's say you drop a, a song in that's a minute and forty seconds, like this one, and you tell it to do more than a minute forty seconds. What it like we did here, two hundred two minutes and thirty seconds. What it does is it goes back to the beginning of the song and starts looking at samples again. So every thirty seconds it grabs that chunk 
of that song and if you go over it grabs the first 30 seconds again and goes through it again so it would be like just having the song on repeat but um, it automatically does that for you there's another interesting thing right here it, the dimension determines which direction to add the new segment of audio you can stack them by putting it to zero and you would make a track that is, you know, multiple tracks over 30 seconds. So you could make five tracks of the same song for the first 30 seconds, if you liked, or however many you wanted. Um, it's kind of an interesting option. I don't even know what negative one and negative two do. They probably do nothing or cause an error, but we'll look at that later. Anyway, thank you for uh, watching this.